coming up on this episode with Isabella Flowers, your real estate agent. Welcome to your new four bed, three full bath home located in Enterprise, Alabama. Built in 2023, this home sits on three acres and it comes with 2,343 square feet. This home is just two minutes away from the Enterprise Fort Novacell, previously known as Fort Rucker Gate. From your back porch, your guests and yourself will be able to witness deer, turkey, and various wildlife.
As you walk through your front door, you will notice to your left a dining room area for all kinds of gatherings. Your living room and kitchen areas are an open concept and you can see that we have vinyl plank flooring as well as vaulted ceilings it adds to that area effect and you can see in the kitchen that we have some can lights going to have a walk-in pantry in this kitchen as well as high quality appliances. There's something about a fireplace that just draws people near. It may be just a fire in general, but it does just that. In this living room, you're going to keep warm and cozy with a gas log fireplace. This is going to give you the ambiance that you're looking for. Right off of your hallway, guests can enjoy a full bathroom with a shower tub combo and a single sink. Here is one of the other bedrooms out of the four. You'll notice that we have vinyl plank flooring in here as well. There's no carpet in the bedrooms.
here we have a Jack and Jill full bathroom that is shared between these two bedrooms. The other one in the hallway would be perfect for guests to have a little bit more privacy. And this could also offer privacy for these two bedrooms as well if they were permanent residents here. As you see, we have two sinks. Convenient since there are two bedrooms connecting. One thing that I admire about this Jack and Jill bathroom is that the shower tub combo and the toilet are separate. You can see that we have a door here to shut behind you for more privacy. The other residents from the bedrooms could use the two sinks and counters to get ready and it wouldn't interrupt people taking showers or two in their business. There are closets in all of the bedrooms and I like that the master suite that we're going to see in just a minute is on the opposite side of the rest of these bedrooms. Entering your two-car garage. There are can lights in the ceiling of this garage. And I like that because for garages, it just makes sense to me that there are uh, can lights for the light fixtures. Because for the other portions of the house, I do like some hanging light fixtures. It does give it more of an elegance and style but for usefulness and just um to have it kind of out of the way because you know you have your garage door equipment it just helps keep things looking clean and here we're going to go into your utility slash laundry room perfectly located close to and by your garage One thing I noticed, maybe you noticed it as well, but the messier portions of the house or portions of the house that could get messy are on one side. I think that's very helpful when you get busy in life because the portions that have the most traffic are on the other end, so your guests would not be able to really see that. have a classic tray ceiling in the main owner's bedroom, two windows, 
that vinyl plank flooring that is continued throughout the house and a barn door that leads to your main owner's full bathroom. One of the first things that you're gonna notice is the separate tub and shower. One of my favorite style tubs to soak in is a vintage farmhouse claw tub. And you'll see a lot of that on Pinterest as well. If you haven't followed me on Pinterest, do so. I post a lot of content on there. It's a little bit different than this. I do post a little bit of this on there as well, but it's all home related. It's all real estate. As you notice in this shower, the standing shower, the tile actually has a little bit differences of detail on it. separate sinks in here and then you also have a private toilet closet. Your walk-in closet is conveniently placed right on the edge of your bathroom and you have plenty of places to hang your wardrobe and to put purses and shoes. You can contact me with the information below in the description or at the end of this video if you would like to schedule an in-person tour of this home or any other homes that you see on my YouTube channel. You can also reach out to me if there is a home that you're interested in looking at or to purchase. The current price of this home is $409,900. Thank you so much for coming along with me on this tour. I can't wait to see you on the next episode.